Hello, I'm Jackie West. Welcome to Thursday's edition of the PE Crime Blotter. We are continuing to cover breaking news out of Riverside, where several explosives were found inside of a home. Joining me now is reporter John Asbury. We actually just got back from the scene. We've been at the home covering the story all morning. Actually, quite a chaotic scene. Several uh, police officers, FBI agents, bomb squads. Right. And this actually all started on Tuesday. John, can you give us a little bit of background about how it all started? Well, neighbors have been uh, hearing about explosives for the last couple of days. And um, they believe that he was firing cannons at his house or maybe shooting off a gun. He had two of these antique cannons in his yard. Uh, so when police went to investigate the gunfire, they went in, they found a, a, the home in squalor. They found his mother emaciated and in poor condition and he was arrested on suspicion of elder abuse. Well, in addition to that, they also searched the home and they started to begin finding these explosives, which has led to a third straight day of uh, searching the home and exactly how to dismantle it. Now, we actually did hear the loud booms go off as these explosives were being detonated. The media was kept back quite a distance, but you could hear these loud booms. Let's go ahead and listen in. Fire the home. We also spoke to a Riverside police officer who explained a little bit about how they would dispose of the explosives. Right now they've identified certain materials from different parts of the house that they believe to be explosive or hazardous. They're removing those materials uh, in a safe manner to the backyard where they're going to render them safe. Um, and they still have a great deal of the house to still go through. So these are just the initial uh, items that they were able to find from the first day. So after they've rendered these items safe, uh, there's additional parts of the house they're still going to have to uh, search. It's very methodical because, again, we're dealing with uh, items that may be explosive. Um, there's very little room to work in there. Uh, so it's taking just time for them to do it in a safe manner. Uh, it's probably going to take the rest of the day at least before they're able to clear the, the additional parts of the house. Now there is still a long way to go. Police officers still have a lot of things to sift through in the house. He actually explained the house to be kind of like quarters. Yeah, he said there's so much debris and so much things stockpiled inside the home that, that they're going to take through at least Thursday to search the home. And if they find more of these explosives, they're going to have to repeat these processes and it's very likely you should be out there again tomorrow um, searching the home and, and possibly more detonations. Great. Thanks, John. Stay with PE.com for the latest on this breaking news story. Don't forget, you can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Jackie West. We'll see you tomorrow.